Blessed Wednesday everyone, welcome po sa ating devotions and uh, today is our third day of week number 10 ng ating daily devotions and so as we continue on looking at um, our devotional written by Randy Alcorn Seeing the Unseen, a daily dose of eternal perspective we will be looking at Mark chapter 8 and Ephesians chapter 6 Sabi po sa Mark chapter 8 verse 35 Whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. Very clear, no? Ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon Diyos dito. Ephesians 6 verse 10, Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. So, uh, the Lord is saying uh, that we should be willing and uh, to the point of following Christ to lose our life for His sake and the Gospels sake. And sabi po niya, we will then earn it. We will be gaining it. Sabi rin ng Ephesians 6, as we go on, as we uh, do that by God's grace, we ought to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. So definitely we'll be looking at uh, courage, at yung courage to follow Christ. Nowadays, um, it's so easy for people to say, I'm a follower of Christ. Pero when, re when push, push comes to shove, and, and when the going gets rough, we would find out kung totoo talagang um, mananampaltaya ni Kristo, right? And napansin ko, ito pala suot kong t-shirt, not a fan. A follower but not a fan. Uh, sadly, there are many fans of Jesus. Those who just um, love to uh, look at His teachings, love to um, name Him. Huwag ako nag-name drop. But um, uh, if we look into his or her life, we will be asking, are, are they even following following Christ? And then today, we'll be looking at the courage. Kailangan natin ng katapangan, ng convictions as we follow Christ. Sabi po ni Randy Alcorn, It's not always pleasant to talk about the things God's Word says. Pause, tas nalit. Tama yun. Kasi, the, the Word of God is like a double-edged sword that pierces and, and cuts um, to the core of our being. Yes, the Word of God is a, like a bomb of comfort. Para siyang gamot na nakapag-soothe uh, uh, ng ating pairamdam. It encourages us. It's like a warm embrace. But then again, the Word of God is also is like a sword that slays complacency and uh, um, uh, um, self-deception right? so maganda yun sabi niya dito it's not always pleasant to talk about the things God's word says when I meditate on scripture it's very common for me to become uncomfortable but what by what I am reading tama po yun kasi nga ang salita ng Diyos parang salamin as we read it uh, uh, hindi tayo binabola ng salita ng Diyos the, the word of God is the truth and, and the truth is not sugar-coated and, 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 and I agree with Randy Alcorn pag nagbabasa ako as I always say um, minsan sinasabi sa atin o sinasabi sa akin ng mga tao na, na lumalapit sa akin o nag-text sa akin Pastor uh, after listening to the message sabi, Pastor talagang tinamaan ako Friends bago kayo tinamaan nun ako unang tinamaan nun as I read and ponder upon that the glorious truth of God. I always tell you, I often find my, find myself weeping, in fact, sobbing uh, as I uh, study scripture. So, yeah, I agree with Randy Alcorn, hindi, masya, hindi laging pleasant ang mga marig natin when it comes to the word of God because as we read it and meditate on it, it's, it's making us uncomfortable. And when you feel uncomfortable by God's truth, that means God's truth is working in your heart. Diba? Sabi niya, but to follow Christ is not about being comfortable. That's a very, very good statement that, there. To follow Christ is not being comfortable. De, laging man-centered, laging self-centered ng ating pagsunod para sa Panginoon ng Diyos. Ay, gusto kong sumunod sa Panginoon ng Diyos kasi gusto kong maging ma maayos ang lahat ng bu sa, sa buhay ko. That's well and good. And, and God can do that. But then again, Right? It's not about our comfort. It's about the glory of God. 
It's about His will. To do that, but to follow Christ is not being is not about being comfortable. It's about being sold out to the God with a nail with a nailed scarred hands, being radical for Him, standing up for Him, and speaking the truth in love with grace follow the Lord wherever he is leading you then depend upon him to give you more courage to take the next steps especially dear ones when it's talking about sin when we listen to the word of God speak about sin especially sin in our own hearts in our own lives we tend to just brush it off but then again alam natin na we need to take steps sabi nga diba ng Bible diba be ye doers of God's word not just hearers of God's word. Anong kwenta yun? O anong klaseng uh, uh, pagbubulay-bulay ng salita ng Diyos yun kung papainggan na natas that in susundin. Again, it takes courage at times because we will be doing difficult things para sa Panginoon Diyos. Sabi nga ni, ni, ni Randy Alcord quoting John 12, If anyone serves me, he must follow me and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Sabi niya, whatever we lose today in humble service to Christ, we will regain a trillion times over in the long tomorrow. And more than that, more than regaining what you lose here on earth for following Christ, I mean, you have Christ. He is more than enough. Hindi po ba? Then, quoting Luke chapter 9, verse 23 onwards if anyone would come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me for whoever would save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it again mga kapatid following Christ is not about comforts following Christ is about following him being sold out to him doing hard things for him because we know he is the truth and if we understand He is the truth, that in Him and in Him alone is life and life everlasting, then yung mga bagay na mahirap natin ilat go, mahirap natin gawin para sa Kanya, it would be um, easy in, in, in a way because we understand that He is more than enough. He is worthy. It's worth it to lose things and, and people perhaps for Him, right? Again, mga kapatid, um, we ought to be followers, not just fans. We ought to be following Christ because of Christ, not because of the comforts that He can give. In His grace, He gives those. Paano kung hindi? Paano kung sa Kanyang kaparaanan, hindi niya ibigay? Would you then say, ah, I'm not gonna be following you anymore? Nagkakatalo yan pag mahirap ang buhay. Mag- nagkakatalo yan pag hindi natin nakuha ang ating gusto. Sadly, and I say this very lovingly, nowadays people come to God with a caricature of God, not a biblical portrait of God. People go to God because of the healing and blessings and, and uh, ayusin lahat-lahat ang, sa buhay mo. Yes, He can do that. And He has done that. But what if is in His divine providences He chooses not to? What if it, in His divine providences, He chooses not to heal you? Diba? So, whatever we lose here on earth, for Christ's sake, sabi ni Randy Alcorn, and the scripture attests to that, it would pale into comparison to the riches and glory that awaits us in the eschaton, in the end times, in heaven, when we get to be with Him and enjoy Him forever. Right? And so, take heart. Kailangan talaga natin yung courage para lumakad, alin sunod sa ating pagkatawag. But then, we know that God is even the one who uh, um, work in and through us para sa ganun, mai, um, sa buhay natin ang Ibanghelyo. Ano sabi sa Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10? He has prepared beforehand. Di ba? nilatag sa ating harapan. Ang dapat lang natin gawin is to what? Walk in them. And in His grace we can. By His grace we can. Right? Let's look at certain perspective by people about courage. 
Sabi po ng G.K. Chesterton, Courage seems a contradiction, a strong desire to live, taking the form of readiness to die. Tama yun. A strong desire to live, taking the form of readiness to die. We believers should be, ano sabi ni Pablo? To die is gain. Pero for your sake, that okay yan sa akin, nandito ako. To live is Christ, to die is gain. Living for Christ, in, in, uh, um, regardless of the situation, regardless of the persecution, it is okay for Paul. But dying for Christ as well is gain. Right? Sabi ni A.A. Hodge, It is easier to find a score of men wise enough to discover the truth than to find one intrepid or, or bold or brave. Find, find one brave enough in the face of opposition to stand up for it. Right? Napakaraming tao uh, are wise who can discover the truth in God's word. But there are a few people who have the courage to stand up and live out the truth that he finds in Scripture. Sana po tayo mga hinira ng Diyos sa dahong ito ng kanyang ubasan would be found as people of great courage dependent on Him and Him alone following Him regardless of the situation kahit gano'ng kahirap because we are indeed true followers not just fans we're not just fans we are true followers of Christ right? I pray na nahamon tayo ng devotion natin ngayon I pray na na-encourage din tayo and I pray that we will rebuke as well sige po, pray tayo Nakila namin Diyos, maraming pong salamat sa katuhanan ito. We thank you, Lord, that, that we know that following you, yes, indeed, uh, is sweet and, and wonderful and glorious. But yet, Lord, you have told us to take up our cross and die to self daily. That means, Lord, it would be hard. But Lord, we pray that we would embrace the whole counsel of Scripture that uh, says uh, yung momentary affliction yung panandalian lang kasi sandali lang siya kasi Lord compared to eternity sandali lang talaga siya we pray that we would value that we would count the cost that we would indeed see and understand that the light momentary afflictions that we face and go through here on earth for your sake and for the gospel's sake would bear into comparison to the glory that awaits a believer a genuine believer a follower not just a fan of Christ when he or she uh, uh, is uh, facing the glorious and beautiful Lord dalangin namin Panginoong Diyos ang inyong pagpapala sa amin as we are embraced by this truth and embrace this truth in return and live it out nawa Panginoong Diyos that we would be found as people with courage courageous and bold to live out your word kahit po mahirap Dalangin namin ang inyong pagpapala sa amin as we go through um, our respective lives today and we pray that you would bless every hour, every minute, every second of the day uh, for us to be able to um, glorify you sa lahat po ng sitwasyong ipapadali nyo sa amin. Maraming pong salamat sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen at amen. Thank you for joining me and I hope I'll see you all uh, tomorrow. God bless you.